Welcome to Wheela. Brace yourselves as we witness the sheer power of locomotives versus automobiles in a series of heart-stopping encounters. Let's get it on! Things happened in Odessa, Texas on April 19th, 2023. The person inside the truck was able to escape. from Collegedale, Tennessee shows a train collide with a truck that was carrying a 134-foot truss beam, causing 13 train cars to derail. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No one was seriously injured. Never risk your life by trying to beat a train. It's just not worth it. Remember, trains always have the right of way. I'm constantly amazed at some guys that pull themselves into these situations like that. He's lucky he only had damage of two of those vehicles and the trailer. Location in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Operation Lifesaver demonstrated on the stage at a request of the city judge in lieu of traffic safety school for ticketed drivers. There was definitely some sort of notification a train was coming. Whether you come to a train that has no gates, you should stop at the tracks and look both ways for trains. Please, folks, always obey railroad signals and never try to outrun a train. You can see a tractor trailer was pushed by a train in the Bulls Gap at County Line Road. Seriously, folks, always obey railroad crossing signals. Don't cross the tracks with a train approaching. Heartbreaking to see incidents like this. Trains can't stop on a dime, so it's crucial to prioritize safety and patience. Never underestimate the speed of a train. Glad nobody was seriously injured. It occurred in Miami-Dade, Florida. Let this be a wake-up call to always heed warning signals at railroad crossings. Location in China in Nome, Texas. Nobody got hurt. Be patient and allow extra time for your journey. Keep a safe distance, folks. Classic case of not paying attention. Let's all do better and keep our eyes on the road. Red means stop, folks. Don't ignore the red lights. It's completely avoidable. Stay focused on the road, guys. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. The driver fell asleep and collided with the side of the road. Plan rest stops every two hours or 100 miles during long drives, everyone. Don't drink and drive. The most painful thing is the fact that this was 100% avoidable.
What a nightmare! At least the driver is alright. Well done, officer. Most of them worked hard for this. What are you doing? Stay in your lane, bro. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. clear the tracks in Austell, Georgia, before a Norfolk Southern freight train came. The coordinated backup by the other cars to get out of the way was really well done. Thankfully, the driver wasn't injured. Here is your daily PSA to not get hung up on the tracks. It's a dangerous intersection in Palmetto, Georgia. Luckily, the driver got out unhurt. Hydroplaning is no joke. It's a reminder to all drivers to adjust their driving behavior. Luckily, there were no vehicles oncoming. Definitely an attention issue. Seems like he braked way too late. Pay more attention, man. Really? What are you doing, man? This is the moment of a gravel truck tire blowing out on the highway. No one got hurt. BMW is to blame? Oh, this is why we need to pay attention on the road. Oh, I'm glad they managed to stop in time. Oh dear, no turn signal. It is truly karma. Wow, luckily the tire didn't hit the car. number on a blue sign at every crossing. Call it if you have a problem and you don't see a train, so they'll be able to stop in time. He's out. He's the driver. No one was hurt. This is an incident between the cart, loaded with coils, crosses the railway line with a red light and the train, loaded with soy. All I can say is drive carefully. You never know when you encounter a distracted driver. Who's at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. What a nightmare. Glad there were no injuries.
Oops, he lost the front when turning in, probably due to cold tires. Glad he's okay. Wow, that is so close. No matter how many times you try, they cut in front of you. Don't do that, bro. A semi versus a squad car incident was caught on a camera on Ashland Avenue in Chicago. Hope everyone is okay. Wow, not everyone can straighten a car in a skid like that. Well done. Ugh, what are you doing, man? The street's red light wasn't on and the intersection traffic signal was wrong. Glad everyone is fine. Everyone, you really need to slow down when on a rainy day. If the speed is chosen incorrectly, adding gas provokes the front axle drifting out of turn. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Bro, check your rear view and side mirrors. On a rainy day, you have to drive cautiously because any time can be a hydroplane moment. No! This is why we need securing cargo, everyone. Bro, stop making people uncomfortable in that way. Oh no, I will not pass a car like that because of the late deciders. You must obey traffic signs, it is not an option. Dude. In the construction zone, don't cut ahead of vehicles in front. This intersection took people a few tries to master, but even if you do make a mistake at it, don't back up. A suspect in a stolen transit van escapes multiple pit maneuvers. Be careful on snowy roads, folks. What a nightmare! Did the truck's brakes fail? Ensure that tires are neither underinflated or overinflated, and use a reliable tire pressure gauge to adjust accordingly, people. This is why it is hard for people to forgive criminals. Hope all of you become decent citizens.
train and a truck collided in the Perm territory, Russia. An electrical pole was damaged and there were no injuries. Here's a great example of why crossing train tracks should always be done carefully. How lucky are they? They had a guardian angel on their shoulder. Oh, I think he sped up to beat the light. You can see that it was turning from yellow to red. And in speeding up to beat the light, he lost focus. That is good. It could have been worse. Who is to blame here? You decide. No, the driver made a mistake with her foot on the gas. Glad no one was seriously injured. Hmm, I hope the truck driver will be more cautious on the road after that. It is better to pull over and check the tire out, man. I hope that all drivers can drive defensively instead of exchanging tears for lessons. Hey man, it's important to turn your head and look both ways before changing lanes. The DC driver was going a bit fast through the intersection. Thankfully everyone is okay. I think he moved faster than he meant to, perhaps an experience. Hmm, I think both are at fault. They should have slammed on the brakes instead of honking. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. Whoops, regularly inspect your tires for signs of wear, damage, or aging, such as cracks, bulges, or uneven tread wear. Hmm, the driver was definitely distracted. At least there were no collisions. Fucking blonde bitch. If you drive like that, you'll end up in a cemetery. No, what are you doing? This is why you keep your attention on the road and your surroundings. Ugh, they are definitely distracted. Avoid multitasking and concentrate slowly on the task of operating your vehicle safely. Ah, oh dear. Stay focused on the task of driving, man. Good thing he was paying attention. Ugh, how did he get his driver's license? Guy, wait for a safe gap in traffic before initiating the maneuver.
No way. Avoid reckless driving behavior like cutting off other drivers. Be patient, dude. Glad it didn't turn into something much worse. Oh my! People who do this really need to be fined. I have no idea, dude. Slow down. Jesus, dude. Oh my god. No, silver vehicle runs a red light and causes an incident with an orange car. Luckily, nobody got hurt. This is a multi-vehicle incident in Summit County, Ohio during a snowstorm in 2023. Nobody got hurt. As you can see, a train hits a tow truck in College Station, Texas. This is an incident with a truck and a diesel locomotive that occurred in Russia. No one was injured. Oh my. Remember folks, follow the manufacturer's recommendations for tire rotation and balancing to promote even wear and extended tire life. Seems things are going wrong. At least everyone is fine. Reduce your speed as you approach the intersection, you guys. When you think the stop sign is optional, don't run it, man. Hope his bike wasn't too bad. Stay safe, man. Well, a gasket in the oil cooler adapted failed and let out smoke. The rider was okay. Oh dear, stop completely at red lights, man. It's your turn to yield. Luckily, the truck driver was able to dodge. Oops, be careful when driving on wet roads, folks. Who is wrong in this case? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. This everything happened really fast. Is this a brake failure? No way. Refrain from stopping suddenly on the highway or exit ramps. Instead, go to the next exit. This was totally an unexpected incident. Thankfully, both were fine. Oh my, that is so scary. Tie the cargo securely, everyone. You can see a Georgia woman flees police and breaks her car.
Thankfully, they could have blocked it. Well, I'm guessing he moved over to give oncoming traffic a bit more room, and his front right tire went into the snow. Ugh, what is he thinking? Genuinely, I thought they were at fault until I saw the ramp. What kind of design is this? Man, don't do that. Those Instagram notifications. No power, no brakes, what could go wrong? The container's driver driving skills are top notch, but please don't do this again next time. If you intend to run a red light, this video is for you. This is not the moment to flaunt your abilities, mate. No, you are not to park there. No need for rear wheels, two wheels. That's what he saved. If you go slightly in the direction of 1230 or 1130, it will go up easily. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. It happened in Portland, Oregon. The guy steals fuel from a lot, then gets blocked by the truck driver, so he takes an alternate route. That screams one thing, slow down. Let's remember, it's not about making the turn, it's about driving safely. What a nightmare, at least no one was hurt in the situation. At least there isn't a car coming the opposite way. While warning devices like lights and bells are crucial, don't rely solely on them. Use your own judgment and make sure the crossing is clear before proceeding. Oh, oh, my God. oh no, the worst part was the truck wouldn't have known that he had lost his wheels. What a mess. When I saw it, I was shocked. Stoic! 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 Both were lucky. What do you have to do? Get, out, get in the foul and fly. One of the hazards of sharing the road with trucks. Christmas is approaching, folks, and I wish everyone driving safely. Well, he was doing 25 miles per hour and he had the right of way, but the driver takes no notice and drives straight across. Why don't these people have load limits and weight restrictions?
Gravel trucks have always been a ruthless character on the road. The little white car is going through a life marquee spin. Oh my, there is a signal for a large truck to cross the line, and the signs also indicate that they must pause and pay attention to other vehicles. How can anyone avoid it if they do it like that right in front of their nose? At least things happen in the forest and not on the highway. What is amazing? Well done, bro. Oh no, maintain a safe and manageable speed, especially when approaching intersections. Slowing down gives you more time to react if another driver fails to yield. And this is a similar situation. Correct me if I'm wrong, in the eyes of the insurance man, the pickup truck would be at fault for pushing the car in front. They'd say you're responsible for stopping far enough back to prevent a collision. Be intimately familiar with the height, width, and length of your truck. Keep the dimensions in mind as you approach bridges. Instead of spending time cleaning up this mess, they could have saved more time if they had loaded it safely in the first place. Oh man, bridges have feelings too, and they prefer gentle hugs, not smashes. Hey, you can't park there! You can't park there! It's better to be 30 minutes late, why take that risk? Who knows exactly where this is? It looks like Longview, am I right? A classic performance. I can't count how many times I've seen this. Motorists in British Columbia, Canada were left slack-jawed as the light aircraft swooped down onto the carriageway and screeched along the tarmac. I think this situation might just be the driving lesson we all need. I bet they think they are so cool. Do not imitate this, everyone. <laughs> this is the moment an Arriva Sapphire bus careens out of control and smashes into a wall in Tamworth, Staffordshire. Slow it down! Reduce your speed before entering the turn, giving yourself more control over the dance. Unbelievable! The driver functionally drove and even turned while still in reverse. Don't do that again. Oh my, they tried to yield but failed. At least they slowed down and were aware. Unbelievable, they were looking under the hood for vision and they seemed okay. <laughs> Everyone who witnessed couldn't do much anyways. Truckers, seriously, secure those loads like they are stars of the show. And trading drivers is most important to secure a cargo. He tries his best to avoid a collision with an oncoming tram, sharply taxied to the left. 
if only started breaking earlier than usual. This gives him more time to respond and prevents sudden skidding. Wow! Dramatic video shows the moment authorities use a pit maneuver to stop the driver of a stolen truck at Seal Beach. The truck had large items in the back as the suspect was driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh dear, Kamaz seemed to be crossing the intersection too quickly. Navigate the intersection with a blend of caution and readiness, folks, for the road is a theater of unpredictability. U-turn without keeping an eye on oncoming vehicles is like dancing without looking at your partner, bound to step on some toes. Scan the road for oncoming traffic, bro. This guy sounds like he really had his stuff together safety gear wise. He felt lucky and didn't get injured. The bike wasn't too messed up. Guys, never try to brake check someone. Well done, bro. A driver ignored the red traffic light and rammed a Honda Civic car. Do not imitate this. Stop on red, folks. It's not a secret code. Even six kilometers over the limit, there is plenty of time to avoid this collision. That orange was three seconds before they even reached. Remember folks, yielding is not a sign of weakness, it's a fundamental part of responsible and safe driving. I just wish that everyone drives safely. He also probably wasn't getting off the bike enough, combined with running into the edge of his sport touring tire. Glad he's okay. Oh. You alright man? Yeah, trying to keep up with somebody I shouldn't have. What a nightmare. Be careful, folks. Feel sorry for the innocent truck. OP did his best to avoid collision and still suffered damage due to other vehicles' carelessness. I mean, never let them know your next move, right? This happened in San Sochi, Sydney. Oh, they crashed. The food truck has right to use either lane, so the Holden is at fault. Hey man, everyone knows not to pull out in front of a truck. Well, at least people with common sense know. Ah, uh, you don't get that kind of satisfaction very often. By the way, great job, mate. Paying attention and avoiding a crash. If only they painted the curb some sort of bright color so they would stand out. Pay more attention, trust me. Oh my, he could have stopped. Maybe his reaction was poor. The age-old saying holds true, practice makes perfect. Practice regularly, man. Wow, OP's insurance company should lower its rates after seeing his awareness. A plus situational awareness. Great job accelerating out of that. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video!